It was a controversial statement that caused very mixed reactions. In a prime time interview broadcasted on two of France's largest television networks, French President Emmanuel Macron has once again reiterated his general willingness to send troops to Ukraine if the necessity arises. We're not in that situation today, he said, but added that all these options are possible. The reason for these bold statements, according to Macron, is simple. Today, to have peace in Ukraine, we must not be weak. If Russia were to win, he said, we would no longer have security in Europe. However, he also said that the responsibility for any scenario where NATO troops enter Ukraine lies with Moscow. Of course, such statements are tricky. But rather than actually wanting to send troops in the short term, Macron's statement seems to be more far-sighted. It's about drawing red lines and clarifying that France's support for Ukraine is unwavering. And if we look back, then Putin's full-scale invasion was built on the idea that the West would be too weak and indecisive to support Ukraine in the first place. If we look at the situation now, Putin's strategy seems to be at least partially built on the premise that support for Ukraine will crumble and Russia will be able to win a conflict that has vanished into the shadows. By the way, overnight, Ukrainian air defense shot down 27 Shahed drones. The Russian army also launched seven S-300 and S-400 missiles at the Kharkiv and Donetsk region and a KH-59 missile at the Poltava region. In Odessa, Ukrainian air defense was penetrated. At least 14 people died. Among them was a paramedic and an employee of the state emergency service who responded to provide aid after the initial explosion. Additionally, 46 people sustained injuries, including seven rescue workers. The truly appalling thing about the strike was that it was a double tap, meaning after the first hit, when rescue workers and police were already on site, the Russians struck again.